Welcome everyone, we're at Lincoln Cove Marina here at Port Lincoln and uh, I'm with Shane Mensforth from SA Angler Magazine and along with David Clayfield and uh, Why Not Fishing Charters we're going to have a bit of a look at the um, deep water jigging out of Port Lincoln. Yeah, well, I think we'll head out, out to, to Lower Spencer Gulf, it's a bit of a lucky dip out there, we haven't got a hell of a lot of time today so we won't go too far but we could get big whiting, snapper, okay. bounty guy. Lucky I've heard of Wedge Island, we might get as far as Wedge it's Island possible, today, depending on about the, a three, on the, on three the hour steam out yeah. there. Yeah, you get uh, Samson fish there, occasionally all kingfish. Sorts, all sorts of fish there. Oh so well, should be that good. That could be our destination. Okay. Looking forward to it, mate. Let's go give it a go. Well, when you're heading as far offshore as we are, we're 30 odd miles off Port Lincoln, you've got no landmarks of course. You've got to rely on your boat's electronics to put you on the spot. And as you can see, Crusader 3 has plenty of those, David. We do have, Shane, we do have. We, as you can see in the sound now, we're about 45 metres depth now, which is reasonably deep. This spot comes up to uh, about 30. So we're now we're going to come into the spot. We're about uh, 0 0.2 of a nautical mile off, and we're just going to slide in very quietly into the spot. Don't want to put too much noise in the water and uh, scare whatever fish may be there. But that's what we predominantly look at now. Alongside that, we have a, we've got a couple of plotters on this boat, actually, but this one is giving us our spots and our location in relation to the spots where we've been before. So as we guide the boat into the spots, we watch the sound at the same time to see what we can pick up. Um, so you can do this day or night, doesn't matter. We can do this day or night, and it uh, doesn't matter. Um, but uh, we've got another plotter here which shows also our track, uh, and that's actually linked to the GPS and the sounder because what we're doing on this boat is we're mapping the bottom of the sea floor as we go along, and we can present that image on a laptop over here which shows us the bottom in 3D which is a really valuable tool to have. It's been around for a few years now but it's uh, showing us a lot of features in the bottom which we don't normally see in a normal sounder. And this is all pretty high tech stuff. It's great, yeah. Um, if, in a position such as we are now uh, we can see more detail of the bottom and uh, really get a better appreciation of what's down there. But certainly if you're in a commercial application like the crayfisher or someone, it's gold because uh, you can actually see the ledges and uh, and take note of what's down there and hopefully drop a pot right on up where the fish is supposed to be. So what do you got on here, David? A little bit of rifle. What are you doing with a whiting rod? Um, well, no, the better. Here we go. A bit of fish. A bit of colour? Oh, he's a nice fish. I've got a net here. Keeper! My work here is complete. You've done well. He's a good fish. Jigs of work. <laughs> King George Whiting on the jig. That's amazing. Now, Lynn, you gave me this jig. What is it? A bay rubber by Daiwa. That's amazing. How's that? Out of deep water, out of 40 metres. Well, there you go. Oh, that time. is unbelievable. Horseshoe leather jacket. <laughs> now, some people like to eat those. I'm not real fond of them, but a lot of people eat them. I reckon they're okay. Incredible coloured fish. Just beautiful, aren't they? Look at that. Unreal. I haven't <laughs> seen too many caught on jigs before, but uh, very pretty fish. Yeah. We've got a hot bite of some. Um, Short fin pike or snook, as you call them here. Yep. And a lot of people knock snook, but I reckon they're good fun to catch and they're not too bad to eat as long as you eat them bad fresh. Way. Yeah, you wouldn't want to freeze them, but on the eaten day or two after, after capture, they're pretty good. They're a damn good snapper bait, too. Oh, yeah. Heads. Everything loves to eat them. Yeah. And we're on uh, one of the better snapper reefs out of Port Lincoln now. Yeah, this is called Rosalind Shoal. And it's, uh, yeah, recognised snapper ground, but. It's, uh, it's alive with all sorts of fish. Becoming a bit of an aquarium at the back of the boat now. Yeah, it is. I tell you. <laughs> On a day like this, you can see everything's yeah. happening down there. It's really glassed off. Oh, it's beautiful. Quite a few sharks in this area too. Got a lot of gummy sharks, sharks yep. and school sharks here. And of course, the occasional white shark or shark because it's right in the middle of their range. Okay. So there's obviously snapper here. I'm jigging this snapper rubber down. That's right. There are. Down it's, on this the is a recognised snapper reef, but. Yeah. Look at the yeah, pike Lenny, there. Have, look at Lenny. Have a look at that. 
That's what you want. <clears throat> Slimy mackerel would have to be the best big snapper bait. Thumper slimies. Have a look at that. Got a bit of tail in. Yeah. <laughs> Coming up. There's colour here. It's a Noah. That's beautiful, yeah, that's good school chart. Just wait a while. <laughs> Come on, boys. We can have a bit of trouble here soon. Yeah, just rolled around it. Yeah. Now we're in trouble. <laughs> He's rolled around it on the tail. <laughs> Good bit of eating fish. How do you think? School 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 show. He's lucky he hasn't been bitten off. He must be hooked outside the outside yeah. the tea. Nice fish. Here we go. Got a big one. No, it's not huge. Well, now that's settled down a bit, Shane, tell us a bit about this southern flake. <laughs> this is a whiskery shark. It belongs okay. to the same, same. I would have called it a school shark. Yeah, no, it's definitely a whiskery shark. You can tell by these two barbels up under the nose. Okay. It's a very, very, very sharp little teeth in there. Actually, you're pretty lucky that you actually hooked it outside the mouth. Just in the corner. If yeah. your nylon trace had been inside those, it would have been all over. Yeah, but. well, if you have a look at the... Um, the rig. I'll just put him down here. Yeah, if you have a look at the rig, Dan's got it here. A bit for me. <laughs> what a mess. Oh, yeah, oh, when it rolled is, is, is that, that last the, run. Is that the way you put it down there, like this? <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky you hooked had, up on another little reef hooked fish. Hooked up a little uh, a bit of plastic protective uh, tubing over the line there, which probably yep. saved your life. That's, yeah, that's it. Yep. And these just as good to eat as a gummy or yeah, a school the, shark? The, the professionals catch those as okay. well as gummies and schoolies and they taste fabulous. They're a really well, nice flake to eat. We catch a lot of gummies in Western Port. This is the first year you never caught a whiskery before? Never caught a whiskery, yeah. They're not all that common. You get a few out here, okay. but not, they're not all that common. Well, it went hard. It went harder than, oh, a, yeah. than a gummy. Oh, I'd say yeah, if no. it was a gummy, it would have been twice the size. Yeah, no, they're, yeah. they're terrific little things, aren't yeah. they? Really nice. No, well, well done. That's no, a good, good catch. the best size snapper to eat, I reckon. It'll be about a Port Phillip Bay special, isn't it? Let's begin with this. It's been that's an awesome the, day. It has. Hasn't it? Rosalind Shoal. Rosalind Shoal. Port Lincoln. Yeah. It's been, a the fish. it's been a lucky dip all day. Yeah. There's not often we do a close when we're both, um, both still fishing, but we, <laughs> we do have to go. We do. The um, just go, I'll just go over the chips. top of you here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been it's been amazing. There's, there's heaps of snapper. They're not real big fish, but they're a lot of fun. No. We caught gummy sharks, whiskery sharks, wobbygong sharks. You I'm name it. <laughs> We've caught it, <laughs> and I'm on here too. We have. Oh, I'm off again. Oh. <laughs> Hot bite of snapper. I mean, they're really on the go. But we've got a two hour two hour steam back to port, and um, the weather's sort of Coming, coming a away a bit, yep. but there you go. And have a look at the size of this slimy mackerel. <laughs> That's, that is just awesome. Yep. This place is just alive with fish at the moment. They're just great. Oop. Let him go. Well done, mate. 
That was good. Thanks yeah. for taking us out here. Thanks for coming out. It's been brilliant. Why not? It's why been not? fantastic. Why not? If True. anyone wants to go and have a good charter out of Port Lincoln, yeah, these guys know certainly exactly recommend it. why not. These guys know what the David fish is. David Clayfield. And it's not over yet. I'm not... Fat lady's just about to well, clear her throat, but I'm not pulling it until I get a fish. <laughs> I'm singing. It's all over. <laughs> it's all See you later. Okay. Oh, you got <laughs> it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a snapper. Oh. oh. I'll drop it again. As I said, that's it. That's it. All right. Okay. See you next time. See you next time. All right. <laughs> Keep rolling, Jase. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds a bit ominous, but it's not over yet. Mr. Shane, it's all over. Uh, not yet, it's not. Well, that's it. Call it quits. Too good for him in the end, but fantastic day.